Tick Camp Brandy. We're watching vlog results, and this is Tick Camp. Today, I'm gonna be talking about masking emotion. Um, so, you know, when I think about this, I gotta, uh, I gotta go back, back in time, back to when I even knew what emotion was. And when I felt comfortable from running from it. Alright. So emotion. Some emotion. Very strong emotions I had when I was younger. Anger. Um, I was confused. I, I, I was lost. I didn't know. I didn't know if I could ever be a somebody. And what I mean by that is a, a place as a man, you know, I, I was, I was a kid, um, and you know, there's a lot I could blame for, but you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even focusing on things that I think that could have stopped me, because for one, that's the past, right? And for two, even though I didn't have consciousness of who I was in, it's still my fault. Because no one's, no one ain't puppeting me. Or unless if it was Satan himself. Which, you know, is definitely possible. You know, you look at multiple possibilities in this earth. But anyway, so, you know, those were a lot of emotions I had. And for some reason, I don't remember a lot of the happy emotions I had. Well, uh, I remember because it's a lot of shit. I haven't let go, you know, I would see. I gotta talk it out. I don't want to mask this. <laughs> You know, I was, I could have been molested, right, but I, yeah, I said no, and luckily I did say no, and I had the goal to say no, um, and some other shit happened before that, some other sexual shit with another family member, <laughs> yeah, and so like, I don't know, a lot of those reasons from my early age. Plus, before that, you know, me running away from my mother, from me seeing her getting addicted to cocaine. I didn't even know what the fuck that drug was. <laughs> and, you know, I saw it was just she was someone and I didn't know. Alright, so I ran away just thinking I was just a free spirited guy, whatever. I was four years old. Alright. So, ever since then, I've been known from running away. Um. Um, so, you know, before I answer the question, when did I start masking it? There's, I could say, three different major key events in my life that took place that makes me who I am. So, before I knew God, during I knew God, and then after my grandma's passing journey. So, I wouldn't even say my life was a journey. Until I met God, right? So if you're talking about when I masked emotion before I met God, it was when I didn't, I didn't even want to let go, right? It was something, and I didn't have conscious of it. I, I was on six different medication. I was in therapy. You know, they were telling me to write down this, write down that, write down when I'm noticing stuff. I was like, nah, -uh, fuck you. I don't want to do that, right? I was just so thick-headed. The enemy had it with me, you know. So I, 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 and then you know. I, I, I had an intervention with God. It was October fourth, twenty fourteen. I think I was sixteen or seventeen years old. And, uh, and then I remember two weeks later I got baptized. Right. So during I was a Christian. I still am a Christian, but we're talking about this part of life. So when I found God, I was in the church. What emotion was I masking then? 
Because, you know, I was accepting to where I can let go. And it was to God. I was the happiest I've ever been. I felt freer. Because I didn't want to let go to, to therapists. You know, I couldn't trust humans at that time in my life. I didn't even trust myself. Right? So, it was something about the people of God. And it was something about God and His works. That drew me into letting go of, of the old me before 2014. So, but like, what was I masking during those days? You know, I don't really remember. I don't, I think that was the first time in my life I started getting a grip of what's real. I started getting a grip of how I should be as a human. You know, and I started like, oh, all that past shit. All right, so then what happened after my grandma passed? What emotions was I masking? And then after I get done with this, I'll talk about what am I masking today and what am I want, not wanting, what do I need to let go? So what was I, what emotions was I masking after my grandma passed? Grieve, anger, sadness, rage, confusion, depression. Um, communication skills was deteriorated. People started labeling me. Oh, we we just we just getting real. People started labeling me with Aspergers. I'm on a mission to prove that ain't true, right? People with Aspergers have a hard time getting cues. Have a hard time communicating with people. People with Aspergers is hard to understand perspectives and it's hard for them to create perspectives. I'm here to break all of them barriers that are label an Asperger's person. And I'm not saying people can't have it. It's okay. You know, I'm not limited to a fucking Asperger dude. I'm sorry. Um, I was masking all that and what was I doing? I started smoking marijuana. I started vaping. Luckily, I didn't get into cigarettes yet until it was last year. But still, you know, vaping was a journey of nicotine addiction. Um, and, uh, you know, marijuana became my emotional peace. All those emotions, that started pressing down even further. And what I noticed, I, I didn't even notice it till like, recently but like what I noticed was like I would be angry at times when I wasn't high and I was just like shoot okay all I have to do is just smoke I always have that THC in me and I'm, I'm not gonna feel angry again I'm not gonna feel sad again that's what I was thinking right but you know that uh, then it gets even more real once you get into it, right? Like you're your own creator of your universe, right? So like, I'm not rich. I don't take handouts from people. I only hang with people who generally fuck with me. And if they wanna be gracious enough to wanna share, it's not even weed. If they wanna share their what they call their prized possessions with me, cool. I'm grateful for that. Right, but yeah, I was I was masking all that shit, and then just recently, I've had another individual guy, man. Yeah, he's showing me who I am, and I'm more humble to him these days than what I've ever was. Right, and it's not no church. You don't need to be in a church, bro. I yeah yeah, you know I went back. I'm not gonna mention no names at all. Because I know God ain't proud. And I'm definitely not blaming, but I'm speaking from the spirit here. So I went back into a church, right? And there was somebody in that church. You know, I I, I was basically making amends. I wanted to, you know, fist pump him or whatever. Shake his hand, whatever. You know, and it was like, I'm not shaking your hand. I was cool like that, right? But then it was like, and I started, you know, trying to talk a conversation. Wanting to catch up. You know, and he was like, I don't have to talk to you, and I don't want to talk to you. Now I can understand how a human would feel that way, right? But why hold grudges in a church? 
church is the only place you can go besides your home or within yourself where you can let go. That to me was definitely something in a control. I don't like that, man. God says, love me first, love yourself second, love people third, man. That's not, I don't find that an example of love. I don't know, you got it. And I'm sure, you know, there was other stuff he, he said too, but <laughs> it didn't. Yeah, I don't remember it really. But you know, I it hurt me that day, but you know, I walked out strong. I knew what I was there to do. I'm not there for any freaking opinions. Somehow, he had to let go of his purpose of being in the church was and focus on creating an opinion about me. I don't like that. This doesn't, man, don't take that it's nothing cocky, bro. I have a relationship with Jesus. I'm not saying you don't. But that's not how God would want you to handle that. Man, that was so, uh. It hurt my spirit. It hurt my spirit. And you know what I did? I walked back home with a smile on my face and I prayed for you. Not, uh, not out of arrogance. I did it out of humbleness. Oh, yeah, I had I had some sorrow, man. And you know I'm on a journey of letting myself go, letting my sins go, and that was that was hurtful for me to see. You know, walking into a church. Um, and, you know I'm I'm debating about wanting to go back in there now. You know it's it was an important church in my life, and. Uh, I don't want to go to a new church, but you know, if you look really what you're there to do, you're there to connect with God, not with people, right? But then, yeah, if you're going to talk to someone, talk to them. That's what I do, right? I'm telling you, if you didn't want to be in a position to talk, you didn't have to be there. Don't say anything at all. Man, I feel like a father at times. And I shouldn't have to be. I don't have no children. I, I didn't have sex before marriage. People, Some people look at me like I am a sinner of the sinners. But if you look at sin, God says you could be renewed. So why hold it? Why hold it against people? Do you know that's against him? That's against God's word? I'm speaking. Uh, listen. Mm, mm, mm. Listen. I'm not playing, man. I'm speaking from the spirit, okay? There's something going on. You know, with the body of God in the church, and it, it's it disconnects people. Man, we gotta focus. It makes me want to create my own kind of church, man. But that's gonna have to be on another new video, cause I've thought about that. You know, I feel a lot of things on what I could do in my life. But I know my time would just be stacked. So like. Back to the topic. Back to the topic. Uh, I'm letting go to look. I'm learning to let go of the past. Right. Look at me for what I am. Look at my flaws. What can I do to uplift and approve them. How can I evolve from who I am and where I am today? I'm working on my messes in my room. I, I know that's... I should have had that. But, you know, there's a backstory behind the where I am today. And, man, and... It just breaks my heart. The kind of hate some people can speak. <laughs> I'm not about that. Anyways, I'm going to end it off right here. It's a 14 minute video. I think this is a good personal video for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Give your thoughts. Do whatever you want. You know. This is T Camp. Thank you for watching Vlog Results. Subscribe. Have a great day. Peace